try to portray us as being some sort of out of touch, nostalgic, delusional people clinging to some words on a piece of paper that they say no longer has any relevance. Oh. They could not be more wrong. Freedom and liberty are always relevant. And we understand that we look to our founding fathers for reminders that freedom, as stated in our Declaration of Independence, is a God-given right based on free will to which we are entitled. And the Constitution is our greatest defense against an over-intrusive government. Yes. It is our greatest defense against tyranny. And it is our greatest defense to preserve liberty in this country. Simply put, what we seek to do as a party, what I hope we do here over the next three days, is we want to be the torchbearers to take that torch of freedom from past generations and pass it forward to the future generations, just as other generations have done for us.
a very short time, there's going to be a massive tax increase. That is a tax on economic liberty, for it takes the sustenance away and out of the pockets of families that have so rightfully worked hard. They have a right to the fruits of their labor, and that's what this party will fight for. Yes. There is no greater example of the institution of government than Obamacare. <laughs> The idea that government would force us to buy a product when we all know it's on the way station to what they call a single payer system, which is in reality a euphemism for socialized medicine. Mm. Our freedoms are under attack. So what your job is these next three days is to craft a platform that will manifest, as Ronald Reagan said, in bold colors, not pale pastels, that we are the defenders of liberty and what we stand for. Now, we may not always agree who the best people are, and we may argue over a plank here or there. That's okay. The bank's good, so long as you're civil and kind to each other. Because we must come out of this convention unified. is the wrong course, put simply. That's right. That's correct. Absolutely. The course the government has put us on cannot stand. The course the government has put us on must not stand. And with your help, the course the government has put us on will not stand. chart a new course for this country, one that is illuminated by liberty. And if we do that, together, we will turn this country around, take our country back, and make it great again. Thank you.